you to love him and trust him from your heart, not from well, not only with your lips. But in life will also you will find harsh, hateful people. That's normal. Look at them as people who are deprived of love. They didn't know Allah to be the most loving. They knew Allah only to be the one who punishes most. And they knew only the Jahannam aspect. They didn't realize there is the vastness of Jannah. And above Jannah and Jahannam both, there is the encompassing, limitless vastness of Allah's love and compassion. They don't know these things. So there will always be people who are ignorant and hateful and harmful. Allah says, the slaves of Ar-Rahman, they walk easy on earth. They're, it's easy for them. When the ignorance slander them, قالوا سلاما. They say, peace. See you. لنبتغي الجاهلية. Another ayah Allah says, لنبتغي الجاهلية. Yani remember, Habibi, there are some people who slander Allah. There's some people who slandered the Prophet ﷺ. Slandering Allah by what? يَشْتِمُنِ بِنُ آدَمْ وَلَيَادُ بَلَّا Allah says, فَسَعِيَ الْبُخَارِ الْحَدِيثِ Allah is telling us in this hadith, Qudsi, the son of Adam slanders me. How? Allah Ta'ala tells us, the son of Adam says that there is another one with me. People slander the Prophet ﷺ. People slander Sayyidina Isa until alayhi salam, Jesus, until now people hate him. Some people at least. Moses, Musa alayhi salam, some people. Look. Those are, we're talking about the people, not Allah Ta'ala. Those anbiya are the best of people who walk on this earth. You think you're going to, how dare you even compare yourself to them? How dare you compare yourself to them? And they were slandered by the thugs and the ignorance and the, deprived and you know all kinds of people that's normal don't think it's abnormal it's absolutely normal in fact for the people who are trying to go on the sunnah that's part of inheriting the prophets rank you cannot inherit the rank as prophecy but inherit him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as inheriting his rank in characteristics meaning that are applicable to us. What that means is he was the most knowledgeable in Allah, but also there was people like Abu Lahab and Abu Jahl slandering him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And for righteous scholars, they also inherit that slander by the Abu Jahl and Abu Lahabs of their time. It's part of the deal. You can't change that. Remember, the one who sits is sitting on the ground cannot really fall. If you're sitting on the ground, you can't really fall. People don't want to make someone fall that's sitting already on the ground. People, some who are ignorant, may be upset of you because you may surpass them in health, in wealth, in knowledge, in piety, even in etiquette. So to them you are guilty. And this guilt, you're sinful in a sense to them. And this sin to them, no tawbah will erase it until you leave that which makes you distinguished and become like them. That's the only tawbah you have. Whatever it is, if you're wealthy, the on, that's a sin to them. And the only way that your repentance can be accepted is if you lose all your wealth and become like them. If you're knowledgeable, if you become ignorant like them, that's the only tawbah. If you have etiquette and adab and akhlaq, as if you become akhlaqless like them. If you have ilm, 
They want you to become ignorant like them. And that's the only way they would accept your tawbah, nothing else. Like the Prophet ﷺ said in the authentic hadith when he went to the mountain of Uhud. Right? Remember when he went to the mountain of Uhud? And he was with him, Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, right? Remember that hadith? And Uhud started shaking. And the Prophet ﷺ told Uhud what? Sit still, O Uhud. On top of you there is a Prophet. On top of you there is a Prophet. So be on top of the mountain. Don't worry about these things. You can't change people. You cannot close people's or seal people's mouth. People always reflect their inner essence. Always. What people say is a reflection of their own nature. If their nature is tayyib, good, all they can reflect is good. And if their nature is khabith or vile, all they can render is khabith. Simple as that. Try to make sure that you purify your inner so it becomes always good and all you generate is good. You can't change people around you, but what you can change is those you are around.